Alright guys, welcome to episode 20 of my horror movie reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Final Destination. This was made in 2009, um, directed by David R. Ellis, who was also the director of Final Destination 2 and The Horrible Snakes on the Plane. Um, produced by Craig Perry and Warren Zide, written by Eric Bress. And the screenplay was done by Jeffrey Reddick, and everybody will know Jeffrey Reddick um, for being a part of the horrible, really, really shit um, Day of the Dead remake. Um, the cast stars Bobby Campo, Chantel Van Santen, and Michael T. Williamson. And the film starts off same as every other Final Destination film, they're at a speed car racing track, they're watching the speed cars and then one of the um, young group gets a premonition of a big accident happening, a big crash and it shows you the, the premonition like it does in all the other films and there's a big accident, one of the cars crashes, flies into the crowd, crushes a load also the um, stadium's all old and crumbly and that starts falling down you see big boulders crushing people and um, stakes of wood come flying and shooting through people back of people's heads and out of the mouths and stuff like that and things hitting, hitting people like heavy machinery like engines and stuff like that um, the problem with these type of films because I also forgot to mention it's in 3D is these 3D films they're not bad but the kills have to be in 3D to get that 3D effect and I'm a big fan of um, practical effects so the 3D has to be it has to be bang on for me to think that it were any good and some of this some of this 3D were pretty good some was not very good um, I saw this at cinemas with real D glasses on and there were times when I jumped back with my head because I thought something was going to hit me. Um, well, carry on with the story anyway. And so the premonition happens and he manages to get all his friends out and a couple, um, the security guard also chases them out and a guy with his wife comes running out after the, after the group because they've knocked into him and knocked his drink over. But he tells his wife to stay in the stadium and she dies. So they're outside the stadium and a big tyre comes flying out with the wheel on it and it's it's a lady and crushes just kills her, annihilates her. So they all get away, but the guy who left his wife in, in this um arena is mad. He's saying, You killed my wife to the um to the security guard because he told everybody to stay in and stay calm and his wife obviously stayed in so he blames him and then obviously death comes looking for them one by one and killing them off and um, the the guy who leaves his wife in the stadium he gets killed very good he comes up in a pickup truck drunk to the security guard's house to kill him and he's drunk and he falls out he jumps out of the pickup truck and eventually things start happening to the pickup truck like something falls off the dash and puts it in gear it starts moving and it's got a chain with an hook on the back end of it and it hooks onto him so it's dragging him down the road and there's also petrol spilling out and there's a spark off the um, chain and it sets him on fire and it just shows you the truck going down the road with this guy on fire um, that's probably one, one of the only um, death scenes that didn't show much CGI um, there's also there was also 11 death scenes in this film more than any of the other Final Destination films um, and some kills were pretty good um, there's, there were one where a girl nearly gets her head sliced off in um, a car wash um, she's got a faulty sunroof and the sunroof opens and lets all the water in and it fills the car up and a car stuck in the car wash and she has to stick her head out and then it traps her head the sunroof and they manage to save her there she um, and there's another one where they're at the mall um, the boyfriend who had the premonitions at the mall and his girlfriend and her friend are in the cinema watching a film 
called um, Love Lies Dead or something like that. Um, but really, the film is called that, but the real film that they were watching was um, a Rennie Harling film, and everybody will know Rennie Harling from making Nightmare on Elm Street 4 and a couple more, if decent, horror films. And when he finally gets them out of the um, cinema, the cinema blows up, and then they're going down the escalators to get out. Um, no, they're going up the escalators to get out, and one of the young girls gets um, a shoelace trapped in the elevator, and it drags her, tries dragging her in, she snaps it off, and then they end up on the elevator again, and it's blown up, and it shows you a big hole in the floor with all the mechanical cogs that move the um, escalator up, and she falls into that, and she gets ripped up pretty, ripped pretty bad by that, so that was a good death scene. Um, yeah, it's the acting isn't as good as the acting in the other three films, I thought they could have got maybe better actors and actresses as in but it wasn't that bad and um, another thing that really pissed me off was there was no Tony Todd in this film he's been in the other three films in some way or another and they cut him out for this film and I, I'm pretty pissed off about that because I like Tony Todd he's a great actor great horror veteran and they just cut him out of this for some reason I don't know why they didn't employ him to star in this film um, so that really got to me um, yeah there's there's nothing much else I can say I'd recommend it I really enjoyed it in the real D with the real D glasses on in cinema I've watched it in 2D at home I don't like watching them with the um, red and green glasses because I don't think it works that good but if you if you got the chance to see this in cinemas I think you'll have really enjoyed it um, and I still enjoyed it when I watched it at home um, a couple of nights ago but still it's not as good as the other three so thanks guys yeah I'd recommend this um, don't expect too much but yeah it was quite entertaining thanks guys look out for me in episode 21